Graham from OptimalBody.ca. Today I'll be telling you how to measure your body fat percentage from home. So the most accurate ways to measure your body fat percentage, such as DEXA scans, underwater weighing, body pods, aren't practical in terms of most people being able to access those and measure their percent body fat. All four of these methods I'm going to share, it's important to understand there's huge room for error. There's no method of measuring body fat percentage at home that's not going to have this large error though. So I'm going to explain to you which out of these four methods is going to be best for you given your circumstance you're in. The first one is using calipers. So you can buy a cheap pair of calipers on Amazon or online and you can learn how from a link I'll have down below to do caliper measurements of percent body fat. This is going to be an appropriate method for people who are looking to either gain muscle or they are looking to lose kind of that last five to 15 pounds of weight. So you want to be pretty lean if you're going to use this method. It's been my experience that it's really challenging if you have experience doing caliper measurements to get accurate measurements on people that have a higher percent body fat. If you're inexperienced, it's going to be very difficult. So the second and the third options are from the US Navy and the YMCA. Both have come up with formulas that don't require a lot of measurements. Instead, you just do a girth measurement, put in your weight and your height. So the advantage to these is that it's really simple to do. If someone has more than 15 pounds to lose and they want to try to get some sort of track of their percent body fat at home, I would recommend they use the American Navy system. So I'll have a link down below where you can just put in your different numbers and then it will give you a percent body fat. I mentioned earlier, these are all going to have a certain degree of inaccuracy, but this one allows you with the Navy measurement to have three different measurements as well as your weight factoring in. So it helps to give you a good idea of your progress. Finally, the fourth option is what's called electrical impedance. So these would be where you hold on to things and then they send electrical current and reads your percent body fat, or you stand on a scale that sends the electrical impedance through you. This would be the least favorable option out of all of these. It tends to be very inaccurate. Your hydration level, so how hydrated you are, plays a massive role in this. So if you eat a little bit more salt one day, or if you're drinking more water or less water, all these things impact the accuracy of the reading. So there you go, you have four different options for measuring your body fat percentage at home. Again, you can pick out which one's gonna be the right fit for you. Keep in mind, again, I can't stress it enough, any of these are gonna have a high level of inaccuracy. The ones I mentioned at the beginning that tend not to be the most accessible will give you very accurate measurements.